Hi, I'm Dave Waddell. I've worked for the past 30 years helping schools improve the environmental health and safety of their science, art, and technology programs. As an offshoot of this, I've helped amateur and professional artists stay healthy and protect the environment while creating vibrant art. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to properly store chemicals that are used in jewelry and also kind of deciding on how to think about the chemicals you've got in storage. And one of those is, do you really need all the stuff you've got in there? And if you don't, then how do you dispose of it? So the first problem we find with chemical storage is we often find people are storing incompatible chemicals together and you need to keep those chemicals apart. Uh, typically there's kind of like here, you've just sort of got the shelf where everything goes and you may have some products that if they come in contact with each other could cause problems. Ones that we really want you to look for is keeping your acids away from your bases and away from any solvents you've got. So if you've got any etching acids or patina acids, you want to make sure that you don't have them around anything that says um, basic or hydroxide or anything that's flammable. And another big one, just anywhere in your house, is to keep your bleach away from your ammonia and away from any hydrochloric or muriatic acid. But bleach and ammonia together is a really commonly uh, found incompatible storage problem. And it's because they're household products, so we just sort of throw them in the same box. If you combine bleach and ammonia, even at household strength, they can create a very toxic compound called, called chloramine, which is a beautiful blue color uh, cloud that if you inhale it, uh, can kill you in fairly short order. So keep your bleach away from your ammonia and don't never mix those two. If you're working with acids, you need to understand that acids don't just corrode metal or um, dissolve uh, metal tarnishes. They also are pretty rough on everything else that they come in contact with. And over time, if you store them in plastic containers, even the plastic container like the one on the right can start becoming degraded. And the last thing you wanna have is your acids coming out of your containers and contaminating everything else. So if you've got acidic waste, get, get rid of them, dispose of them properly. If you have any flammables that you're working with, flammable liquids or aerosols, uh, make sure you're not using them near any source of ignition, like electronic devices or portable heaters. Every time you plug in an electronic device, you may see a little spark show up. And if there's anything flammable nearby, that could be enough to cause it to ignite. A good way to keep uh, your chemicals in their containers is to store them upright. Storing them on their side just invites uh, leaks and spills and contamination. We also want you to properly label your containers. And the rule of thumb, if you transfer product out of the original container into uh, another container, hopefully not a beer bottle like on the right, is to put down the name of the product that matches the label uh, that you poured it out of and into that secondary container. And then if there's any hazards listed on the primary container, write that hazard down because not anybody, everybody may know that spit bite is corrosive. Our ain't thinner is the same as paint thinner and is flammable or combustible. So even though you've got a label on the beer bottle indicating it's not beer, but it's mineral spirits and alcohol, putting the word flammable on there just helps people who aren't familiar with it know that they should be careful around that stuff and not spill it um, and not get it on their skin or inhale it. And that's it about uh, proper storage of jewelry materials. In general, just keep your incompatibles apart, uh, store them in a place where people aren't going to trip over them or spill them, and uh, decide what you need and what you don't and keep those separated and get the stuff you don't need out of your studio and properly dispose of them. To learn more about chemical hazards in schools, visit doh.wa.gov slash school environment.